Hey, it's factory sealed, but there's some sort of little slit right here. Little slit. Didn't do that. Didn't do that. Came like that. Little slit. But this is a factory sealed box purchased from Dave and Adams Sports Cards. So we're going to go ahead and open it. And I am super excited. This is free, so you better love me and come back to see Fudgy McPoo again because this is a hundred and hundred and seventy-five dollar. Oh, does he? Hold on a second. My daughter doesn't like the monkey strapped around her neck, and if I leave it around her neck, I will get in trouble from the wife. So I am unstrapping the monkey from. The child's neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are again. <laughs> here we are again. The upper deck black. You, you gonna stick around for the upper deck black box break? Oh, you gonna put your hat on? Huh? Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Oh, righty. So we got the first packed off, and <laughs> if we remember from the last box break, <laughs> there are many openings. Many places to open this. <gasps> They apparently don't want you to get inside one of these. Ever. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Again, we need more gold. Oh, here we go. Look at this. This right here, this looks like a, a couple decks of Las Vegas cards. Right there. <laughs> There are four cards in this pack, just like the Upper Deck Ultimate. And hold on, Fudgy's gonna take a swig of Blue Moon. Blue Moon, yeah. Uh. Oh, everyone, pour a little out for your homies. And let's get started with this one. We have two packs. Look at these two packs. These two packs aren't ordinary packs. There are another like 16 layers just to get in each one of these packs. That's count 32. That's why I love these cards. These are, I believe, to be the nicest cards in Upper Deck's lineup. Unfortunately, uh, Upper Deck 2010-11 Black Hockey doesn't exist. They will only be released in some sort of queer card convention thing. Which I don't partake in. Alright, so we're opening the first pack here. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. Oh my lord. <laughs> I may have to go to the hospital and get stitches after this one. Look, this. This is ridiculous. Gum. Check that out. Check out the checkered flag. The checkered flag uh, thing. Look at this. Look at this. Another pop tart. <laughs> Look at that. It's another. It's another. It's like a miniature pop tart. Oh, 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 oh! I feel an odd shape. Look at this. An odd shape. Oh, this looks feels like a dual odd shape thing in here. Can you see the uh, reflection on that? That's not a normal uh, dual jersey card right there. So there's something cool in here. <sighs> now that I'm done feeling up my pop tart. Let's go ahead and see what we got. We got two cards in here. The first card we have in here is going to be the one on the top because uh, I can see what it is. And what I want to tell you is there are two teams on here. It is actually the Atlanta Thrashers slash Winnipeg Jets and the Tampa Bay Lightning slash Tampa Bay Lightning. <laughs> so we're going to have to use random.org to determine who this card goes to and I will go ahead and videotape that after this break but this card is a dual wow game night ticket autograph black of Ilya Kovalchuk and Vinny LeCavalier <laughs> awesome hey this, is, this was free this was free to you this is redunculous Ilya Kovalchuk, Vinny LeCavalier, numbered 8 out of 25. Check out that gold pen. That's why I love these uh, Upper Deck Black autographs. They're done in gold pen. You got two, two huge NHL All-Star autos there. Um, 
I know you're going to be uh, you're going to be jonesing to see the uh, the uh, random.org draw, but we'll go ahead and we'll we'll randomize it seven times because I like seven. But this is an Ilya Kovalchuk. Um, actually, do they have them? Yeah, they have them listed. They have them listed. Ilya Kovalchuk as a Thrasher, not as a Devil. Um, so that's that would go to the Jets and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, oh! Apparently, apparently, my monkey initiated himself. And right behind, right behind that auto, which is awesome. I can't get over that. This is the longest. This is the longest box break of eight cards you've ever experienced in your life. <laughs> That's what happens when I've had too many blue moons. Oh, well, Mr. Orville just finished off. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is a rookie letterman from the Anaheim Ducks. Rookie letterman. This is the patch, the letter I. The letter I of Brian Salkido. No, no, no. No, don't, don't be hitting Mr. Orville anymore. Brian, Sal Brian Salkido doesn't warrant a Mr. E. What did I just tell you? Okay. Okay. So, anyway, this card is numbered. I didn't know you can turn them off, but apparently you can. This card is numbered 308 out of 499. It is, again, a, an, a Ducks Black Jersey Rookie Letterman. How awesome is that? Are those not the two best cards you've ever seen in a box break in one pack? Have you ever seen a pack that had two better cards than that? Seriously. Here we go with the second pack. The second pack is going to be a giant disappointment. Because <laughs> yeah. there can't be anything better than that in the, first, in, in the second pack. So, and we have to get through the 16 layers right here of uh, S. Ooh, I think I did. I did. I did. I think I did. I think I finally sliced my finger open. Hold on. Did Come you? On. Yeah, there's... So there's it's serrated you can tell it was serrated you <laughs> it's not bleeding yet and hopefully it doesn't bleed because I don't want to get anything on cards obviously <laughs> it's only a matter of time on my on my 39th box break hold on a second taking a swig of blue moon me too All right, that was more this way. That was like a chug. Ugh. All right, let's get this home. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This this has been such a ridiculous break. We got the PK Subban debut threads ultimate. We got the we got the rookie Letterman. We got the Ilya Kovalchuk Vinny LeCavalier. It looks like <laughs> it looks like. It's not going to end. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it looks like it's not ending. This is this is 600 times better than the first box of uh, black that I had. Yeah, I want these cards. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to buy like an entire case for myself because this is awesome. How about a second rookie letterman patch autograph? And this is from the New York Rangers, Letterman, Auto Patch, of Artem Anisimov. Artem Anisimov, New York Rangers, Rookie Letterman, Auto. Check that shit balls out. Can you see that? Let me. <laughs> that auto. Black. Again, like I like I was saying before, this is card number th uh, three fifty four out of four ninety nine. I honestly think that the upper deck black series is uh, is their best line. I like them better than the cup. They just have they have the best cards, um, and I really hate to be giving these things away because. Uh, They're sweet. I but mean this like this was a uh, theoretically a free box handed out by Fudgy McPoo. I'm handing out. Um, Four autographs, two patches, two letter patches, and then 
a trio patch. A trio or a trio jersey, as my son just corrected me, of the Anaheim Ducks, as if they didn't have enough already. The big winner, Anaheim Ducks, Ryan Getzlaff, Tamu Solani, and Scott Niedermeyer trios jerseys, um, and there seems to be some sort of white substance, and, and I, I swear it didn't come from Mr. Orville. You. But yeah, there's uh, some sort of white substance and it is a little bit sticky um, And I apologize for that. I don't know if that's something that can be cleaned off But again did not come from mr. Orville, but this is Ryan gets <laughs> Tamu Solani and Scott Niedermeyer This is card number 31 out of 50 Check out the corners corners Not the greatest corners, but these really thick cards um, that's just the way they come. And when you want to see the, the, the actual way the cards are made, they're made with a nice little uh, black strip down the middle, which is pretty cool. Same with, uh, same with this one. So, again, we're talking about some big time cards. Our pack of Upper Deck Black is right there. There's no base cards. Do you see any base cards or anything in there? Didn't get any base cards last time. Every freaking pack. Every card is a hit. That's that's incredible. And then you put that next to you put go ahead and put that next to our upper deck ultimate, which are actually the cards that you guys bid on. Right over here, and you got your PK Subban, your Malkin, your Ben Smith, and your Cam Neely. I would uh, I would go ahead and argue that all numbered. These are better. These were free. These some of you paid for. So again, um, just come and see me. I'm Fudgy McPoo. I am going to have a Black Friday next Friday. Uh, Black Diamond. I'm going to be opening up a box of Black Diamond and another box of Upper Deck Black with that one. So look for my listing. I probably won't be listing until Sunday because of ridiculous, retarded S9 eBay rules. You can only uh, put your you can only put your uh, auctions up for one, three, five, seven, or ten days. Um, and I was too lazy to get it up to uh, last night, so it's uh, it's going to be tomorrow night when I, before I uh, actually post it. So black diamond and Upper Deck Black, Black Fridays. I'm gonna to try to do that on all Fridays from now on because I love these Upper Deck Black cards. And I hope you enjoyed the break. And sorry for taking up your entire night. And sorry for having some sort of mechanical monkey hump my underage job. Um, please don't hold that against me. I love you all. Good night.